blah. <laughs> like before 2016, before the Misfits reunite, throughout the 90s, and Jerry will attest to this, I'm sure, in better, way better than I ever could, that like, you know, the 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 energy around talking about misfit its stuff, depending on who you were, if you're a journalist or whatever, like this. Like this was a time where this was not brought up. I'm not going to do any misfit songs. It was just like it, it was completely out of sight, out of mind. And then all of a sudden, at some point, as as Jerry has just said, and at some point in in Danzig, without Doyle, without anybody, Glenn starts to you know toy around with some of these misfit songs for whatever reason. And like, where is the change what brings about is you it know, like I a call to, to nostalgia to we were we were i want to say that it might have been on the death comes ripping i think it was philip wanted to sing death comes ripping oh ah. she because that's like one of my favorites. yes so yes i think i believe that we might have done she death comes ripping Amazing. What? I th I know we did she like once or twice, for sure. With what? Dan. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Like, this is this is not known. Yeah, yeah. I it might have even been at that show. It was one of those shows. We I know we did she. It might have been the L.A. show too because we did an L. We did an L.A. show. Was that with? It was with Doyle. We did like an LA. We did one show that was like, uh, like a we did a club show in LA at the Key Club. No, wow, like three or four hundred people. I think that might have been the first Doyle show. I think I remember when this happened. I can remember being a diehard misfit Sam Hain Danzig nerd and hearing that Doyle was going to be playing Misfit songs with Danzig. And was like, wait, what? Are the Misfits reuniting? No, no, no. No, no, no. You got it. No, Misfits are not reuniting. But Doyle is going to be playing with Danzig. Wait, wait, wait. So is Danzig. Wait, so Doyle is in Danzig? No, no, no. No, Danzig is not. A Doyle is not with Danzig. Danzig just going to come on. Yeah. He's going to do a set. And then they're going to go back to being Danzig. You have got to be fucking kidding me. The biggest rift, the <laughs> biggest beef, the biggest, you know, uh, the feud in all of punk rockdom and maybe contest, you know, this you could contest that in all of rock and roll, but definitely in all of punk rock right. that that now this guy who refuses to acknowledge his past in any way, shape or form is all of a sudden going to be doing a misfit set. Not only is he going to do a misfit set. He's going to be doing it with Doyle. And little did we all know that two years prior, or one year prior, that Doyle, Danzig, and Jerry had met and had talked I about knew, doing a reunion. I, I, I knew all that. We Really? Knew, yeah, we knew all that stuff already. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like we all knew the specifics of it and everything that was going on. At the time. Gotcha. Yeah. So... It's not that would come out publicly to the fans way at a much la way later. Yeah. And so suddenly, logically, it all starts to make sense of, oh, yeah, OK. So they're like, you know, something clearly happened here. And now these guys are going out and it's affectionately known on a bootleg. There's a bootleg that goes on. It's the most famous bootleg. Like it's called it's called Misfits <laughs> Revenge. And it shows. It shows Glenn on the record. You play on this record. And it's Glenn on the record, and it's it's Doyle oh, on the record. Yeah, yeah. And it's Jerry. It's like Jerry, like lying, like with his Jerry face, like ah, not this Jerry, the other Jerry, right, right, right. Uh, Jerry only, like lying down, and there, you know, it's it's called it, it. I think it's I think it is the Electric Factory set that you guys did. That was bootlegged on vinyl, and that oh it was misfits yes and that's what's called that's why I I, that's that. the idea of misfits revenge it's called it's known as misfits revenge uh, because yeah, I remember I, some somebody sent me the dvd of it you know what i mean with yeah the, i got a dvd of it but i lost that's a nice it. keepsake yeah but i didn't know it was on vinyl that's that's probably cool um yeah 
uh, we all knew, I knew about all that, you know, what gotcha. I mean? like, and as, as things were coming together, you know, basically he just called me up one day and was like, Hey, what do you think about maybe doing some shows with Duo? And I was like, I've been waiting for this my whole life. The only <laughs> thing I ever prayed for was like, please God, while I'm in the band, uh, if he would do a Misfits reunion and I could play bass, that would just be like it, you know? Uh, and so, yeah, he just, he called me up one day. Um, I was like, hey, what do you think about Duel coming and doing some, some shows, you know? Duel playing with us. And I remember I was like, fuck yeah. But I didn't want to say that because right. he's like, uh, uh, you know, he's like a reverse mentality person. If I go, yeah, yeah. he'd probably be like, yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but I knew that if I did it too much, if I was too excited, yeah, you had to downplay it. Like, eh, it would be cool, but fuck it. Yeah. 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 Sure. So I'll like, do that. I was like, well, yeah, it would be cool. But you know, everybody's coming for Danzy. That's all they really want. He was like, yeah, I think we'll do it. And I was like, yeah, okay. I hung up the phone. I was like, fuck. I just started screaming in my room. I'm like, dude, holy fuck. I think we're going to do the Misfits. T take me through what happens now. Y you say, you're like, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, Glenn. Sounds like maybe a good idea. Um, You know, like, uh, yeah, everybody really wants to see Danzig, though. You know, Glenn, like, you know. Right, because and... I know that you're going to go, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> You know, I didn't want to be like, fuck yeah, are you crazy? That's all anybody wants to see. Ah, and then it'd be like, yeah, right. fuck it, we ain't doing it, you know. Always then, against the grain. Always against yeah, the grain. Totally. So yeah, so it was kind of like that. And then I think uh I never met Doyle before. I knew Doyle's ex-wife just through Crazy Craig. And I think that's kind of how the right. whole thing kind of came back together was Craig was friends with Doyle and Craig kind of I think slowly bridge the gap. You know what I mean? Amazing. With the two of them, mm -hmm. or at least a little bit enough for them to, you know, be back on radar and whatever. Right. But yeah. So then it was like, okay, learn, you know, these like 12 songs or something. So I learned them cool. And it was like the first day, like first day of school, you know, like, all right, today's <laughs> the and go in there for the first time. And there's Doyle, you know, like, I think I got there and then Doyle showed up and I'm like, you know, I always heard he was like the greatest guy, but I didn't, I don't know him, you know? And, um, he was just ever since that day, I just, I fell in love with him right away. He's the sweetest human being, you know, nothing but the kindest, gentlest fucking soul of all time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I adore Doyle. Um, and we just fucking, I remember we were, it was like, he was as nervous as I was because he was like, whole, you know, to even to him. Right. Point, he was like, holy shit, I'm getting to play with fucking Glenn. Like, he right. was mind blown, you know? Um, which was like very endearing and cool, you know, because we were kind of like all like, fuck, you know, the only person that was like, I know this is it, you know. Ah, was GD. We were kind of like, yeah. uh, you know. But, like, as I told you earlier, um, it's like embedded in my brain. I'll never fucking forget. We played, I think, I want to say it was Earth AD. Maybe it was the first song that we wow. played together. Like, okay, one, two, three, here we go. Um, or Hate Breeders, whatever song it was. But immediately he got, he just crouched down in that stance that looks like the fucking, like the t shirt with the devil lock, like down, crouched down. And we were all like, holy fuck, there he is. And I read, I'll never forget, I looked over at Doyle, and Doyle was like, like, huge smile, like, oh my God. And I was like, fuck. And we were all like, you know, witness the power. I, don't know the, I mean, I don't know if Bevan was like the hugest Misfits fan. I mean, I know he liked it, but he wasn't like, I'm as much of a fan of that as like you or Doyle playing right. in that room. 
You know what I mean? Right. And so it was Tom. And Tommy's like, whoa, this is crazy, you know? But I was like, and Doyle was the same way. And he just got down in the fucking stance, just fucking went for it like a fucking <laughs> wild beast, you know? <laughs> I'll never forget it. And then it was like the song was over. And he stood up like, all right. And we were just like, oh, fuck. It is on like a motherfucker. I think, yeah. I remember like the Mars Volta guys or like Henry Rollins or, you know, these dudes like coming in our room, like poking the, their head in the door. Like, Wait, Henry Rollins was there. I want to say maybe it was Henry Rollins that was there. Or Wow. You know, it was Mars Volta guys. Um. Some like, you know, I mean, like at the time, you know, it might have been. Yeah. I don't know if it was Henry Rollins. I don't think it was Henry Rollins. Maybe it was. Um, fuck, I can't remember. This is a rehearsal space. This is the rehearsal space. That you're at. Probably, yeah. Yeah. And, and so. Like, oh, here we go. And then, then he was like, we're playing the key club. Okay. We're going to put it on sale today. And it sold out in like 10 minutes. Oh, my God. You know, and it was like. I remember we played that show and it was so fucking hot. You could not breathe at all. I remember I, I had my head down, my hair down. Yeah. So it looked like I was doing something, but I was like talking to Doyle <laughs> through my hair while he had his head down and going, and I'm going, we're playing. Everybody's going crazy. And I'm like, I can't even fucking breathe. Can you breathe? He's like, nope. And I'm like, fuck, this is retarded. He's like, oh, and we're like, okay. I'm like, I can't wait this to be over, you know, just drenched. But, um, and this is where, and this is where also at some point, because two things. Well, first of all, I, I for question, one question. Do you remember any songs from that time that might have been hashed out and rehearsed, but just were like scrapped? And, and I know that's like asking a lot to remember all the way back. You know, back well, and we did, we did do Bullet a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Because I Bullet was my other favorite song. Bullet was like my favorite. She and Bullet were my two favorite songs, bar none, you know, growing up. Mm-hmm. And I always wanted to do them. We did She, I believe we wanted, we played it once live. And then we would play it in rehearsal, then it never really came back. And Bullet too. I think Bullet and She, we only played a few times. Um, Demonomania. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, we, I know Tommy really loved that song, and we were gonna we play that one. But That's I don't know one. if you were even doing Demonic Mania even then. You know, what I mean, I think it was like I can't remember. There's so I have to look at the CD. You know, like yeah. Was, you know, you're talking like fucking fourteen songs in twenty minutes. You know, what do you think? Here we go. You know, like it's a minute and a half, two minutes, one minute. Oh, that was the best part. Is that like it's just like this window of time, but you're just packing goodies. You're just packing yeah. goodies in the set. It's just like boom, 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 right. boom. Yeah. Okay, now back to dancing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, so great. I think, we, you know, we did, we did that first string of shows. I think we went up into Canada, maybe. I think I remember that. New York. Uh, now when did this get worked into the 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 act there's this whole thing where he goes he's just like doyle and then doyle stomps out and goes that just just happened yeah yeah Yeah. and i remember i was like what do you mean we're gonna bring him out into the middle of the show and then send him back (laughs) like a monster he's like yeah okay but um it was all those shows. We did it for a while. It wasn't just, you know, we did it for like, what, a couple of years. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was fun, man. It was always fun. It was always a pleasure to, uh, I always had the best time with Dole, you know, always still to this day. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I write him right now and be like, Hey, da, da, da. and he's like, you know, we always say nope to each other. It's always a joke. Like whatever he's like, nope, nope. Nope. Like, whenever I would send something in the mail to him or he would mail me something, he'd write, nope, you know. I think he sent me, actually, he sent me like his old original. Oh, cool. Strap. I Look at you with all you. You got, you got a nice little collection there. 
think he said this this one i think was originally on the cover of uh earth ad no uh, uh live e- evil live evil live oh yeah. really oh so that's and like for, OG. I, for a while i was like oh i want to I, i'll be like hey if you give me something i just want something that's old and original you know what i mean he'd be like i really have wow. this you know or or something cool like that so i would like collect the straps i cherish guess. it Steinbeck Daryl's original guitar straps and doors and shit. So. Wow. Well, yeah. All right. I even still have my fucking uh, the. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Wow. All now, like, I have the skate decks and shit that he. One year, he found. We went to his mom's house. We went over here and. New York, and we go drop him off at his mom's, you know. And I'd be like, I know there's something in there. Find me something. And then finally, one year, he brought me all. He he found boxes, boxes of the skate decks. So I ended up with a, like all the Sam Hain, you know, skate decks or whatever. Wow, that that is awesome. What's interesting, I don't know what it must have been like, because if you're at the you're at the center of it at the time, because. But at the time for us as fans, this was like the biggest thing in the world. The fact that Danzig is playing with Doyle. It must have been, it mu- It really must have been like something else to be at the, like the, the beginning and center of that while it was happening, while it was first starting. And then, you know, I don't know. And, you know, in a way, while the Misfits reunion is the Misfits reunion and we can, nothing can take away from that, in a way, this was almost even more mind-boggling because it, it, well, it had because just no been was, such a... No one was expecting it. We didn't even expect right. it. And then right. And even as it was happening, it just happened. You know, it was like, okay, right. we'll do more shows. Oh, we'll play this place. Okay, cool. You know, it was... Right. It was... Um, yeah, it was, it was special and cool. The Misfits reunion is fucking amazing and fucking awesome. You know what I mean? It's fucking, uh, it's cool. It's crazy. My buddy AC is fucking playing guitar with him. That blows my mind. Yeah. Fucking AC's in the And he's doing a great job. He does. I love. He does a good job. Me and him go way back from my old band, The Deadlights, and we used to tour on Ozfest, and we did so many tours with Dope back in the day. I've been friends with AC forever. Good dude. He holds it together, man. 